everyone, it's Presley at PickupGames.com here, and today we will be studying the third law of motion. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So we're here at Hobby Town USA to buy my first model rocket. So we're home with the rockets now, so I'm going to take a look and see what's inside and see what we have to do to build them. So if you open it from the bottom or you open it from the side, there is a stick that's stuck to the top of the box. There are wood and a parachute and a tube. So uh, I don't really know too much of that stuff. More tubes and a rubber band and a pointy thing. Uh, I don't know what much of this is. I've never done a model rocket, as you can tell. Um, we have orange stuff. I think this is for the base. I think this is for the uh, water rocket tube. Or I think this is for the smaller rocket and this is for the bigger rocket. But I'm not entirely sure. Interesting. I don't know what these are for. And instructions and designs. Wait, stickers. They stick on the thing. So that's what we have. I will lay it out and I will show you guys what we got. So we've laid out some of the stuff we need to build the orange rocket, which is the bigger one. So this one is just made out of the cardboard tubes and a plastic fin. So I'm putting it in the wrong way. Um, but it's obviously a very large rocket. I can't get it completely together, for, but it's pretty large. Uh, it's a very large rocket, so it might be pretty easy to see since it's a bright color. And once you put the stickers on, flying down back to the ground. Um, and it comes with these plastic fins, which go in one of these two, I don't know which one. Um, and the parachute, and this rubber cord. I don't know what the rubber cord does. So we have the, stick, the stickers which and the instructions which you put on the model rocket. So they look like what they're supposed to. Um, and this is for the base. Um, you build the base on this and the, this. If you stick this like right in there so it keeps the rockets all aligned. This is the recovery wadding. I have asked. And these are the motors. Um, this, I actually don't know what these do. I think they're to attach something, or of course to attach something. I don't exactly know what they do. And then this is the stuff for the smaller rocket. So let's go check it out. It's okay. That's too good. Grab me a little paper towel, Abba, please. I glued the two pieces of the rocket together and we've glued the engine holder together. So now we're going to glue the engine holder inside of the rocket. So we've glued the two tubes together and we've added the engine container. And now we're ready to put the fins in. These come pre made. And all you have to do is snap them in and slide up. So I'm going to put some glue on them and so they'll stay in place. And then it'll be time to put the flight components in the nose and then blast off. It needs to go in. Pretty 
like the, the important thing is not to get anything real tightly packed in there mm -hmm. so it won't pop out when it's time. Mm -hmm. All of the, like when, it, when there's a little charge in here, that's what actually burns. Okay, there's that little plug right there, and then there's a charge in here that's what burns. And when it turns into gas, what do we say happens? It goes out the bottom. It goes out the bottom, and it pushes out that little hole, and that's what pushes the rocket up. Mm -hmm. And then that all burns and pushes it up, and pushes it up, and pushes it up. And then there's a little what's called delay charge in there, which is a little piece that burns, but it doesn't make a big reaction, so it's not pushing it anymore. And that's when it stops going up and kind of starts falling. And then it burns for that delay charge, and then there's like a little explosive charge up here at the top. Right? Mm -hmm. And that explosive charge is and that's what blows the top off and kicks the parachute out to make it come back down. So that's all the parts. And we'll see a little video in the video, I think, of that. So this goes in the bottom. And there's a cool little cap that goes on. These are much more sophisticated than when I was a kid. So this could... on. Which out or something? see. No, it was held in a lot differently. And then this time, this is the little igniter. Right? So like I said, we hook up the, the plugs hook up to here. And make an electric current that goes through that and makes that spark, and that's what sets off the engine. Do you buy more igniters for only one? Uh, you, igniters come with the engines, so when you buy engines, you get igniters. So, so you got three igniters? Uh, I got four, actually. I got one just in case. So this needs to go in as far as it'll go, mm -hmm. and then there's a little plug, and it just pushes in, and that holds the igniter in place, which again, is not what happened when I was a kid. The igniter would fall out? That's cool. Yeah, the igniter would definitely fall out. You had to tape it in, and it's a different place. Okay, so that holds the igniter in, and now it's ready to go. We'll just put it back on the stand. So it's all set up, and I'm really excited. All the launch components are in the nose, and it's on our little base, and our controls are over there, so it is ready to blast off. Countdown. Countdown. Five, two, three. No. Push, push the button, Cooper. with launching a rocket and I must say I absolutely love launching rockets. It's really fun but there's a lot of trial and error going on. It's hard to fix this thing to get it to actually start launching. Then you have to press the button and then you need a new battery and the controller and then and then it's not connected so you have to connect it again. So it takes a while to get this thing working but once it works it's totally worth it. It is really amazing to rock to watch the rockets go up and I don't exactly know how much on how these work so we're going to do a lot of research and do a unit study on how rockets work so NASA is running this really cool website which says a lot a lot a lot on how these things work so I'll put a link in the description below and there's a thingy I don't remember what they're called here if you can click it right there Click it. So yeah, this is my rocket that I used, and we do have a smaller one that will go a lot higher. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.